was tucking in my two-year-old. He said, Goodbye, Dad. I said, No, please say goodnight. He said, I know, but this time, it's goodbye. I had to check on him a few times to make sure he was still there. My daughter would say Spanish curse words in her sleep in her Tony from the Shining voice when she was five. She didn't know how to speak Spanish when she was awake. I wake up to find my three-year-old standing by the bed, staring at me, inches from me, with a huge grin on his face. He just stares and grins. What are you doing? I finally say. Nothing. Still grinning. At this point, I realize he's got something behind his back. Are you holding something? No. I look away. He's hiding our largest carving knife behind his back. We got my little sister a puppy over Christmas break. We waited till she was asleep. Then went to pick up the puppy. The next day, she woke up, and when she saw the dog, instead of going googly-eyed and happy, she said, My baby, it's not time for you yet, and tried to pick up the dog and shove it in her mouth. My brother grew up being terrified of water. I am four years older than him, and during the nightly battle for bath time, he was about three or four. I asked him, why is so scared of water? He looked at me, and I remember this word for word. I was in a big, unsinkable ship. We hit the biggest iceberg, and then it was really busy. And then I got really cold and went to a warm, bright place and waited for my next family to come. My mom heard it all and decided bath time was over. The creepy thing is, my brother was born April 15th, 1992. The Titanic sank April 15th, 1912. He was six going on seven, and we had this thing where I would hold him down and pretend to eat his face, and he would always respond with stop it and laughter. Well, this day everything is going as usual. And when I get up, he says, I will never eat your face, Poppy. I will cut it off and wear it as a mask. My son says, Dad, do you lose weight if you ever get rid of those things inside your back? Me? What things? Son, the rabbits with no hair or eyes. My daughter said to me that there is a woman who watches her watch movies in her room and sleeps on the ceiling above her bed when she sleeps. She also says, it doesn't like me and wants to eat my heart. My kid watches Elmo in fucking Dinosaur Train. Where in the hell did she get this from? When I was young, my mom caught me putting toys on the stairs. When she asked me why I was doing that, I said, so daddy can slip and fall. My three-year-old daughter stood next to her newborn brother and looked at him for a while then turned and looked at me and said, Daddy, it's a monster. We should bury it. When my daughter was three, one day, she said to me, Don't you remember, Mommy, before, when you were the daughter and I was the mother? They came and chopped all our heads off. Chop, 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 chop. The whole village. She made various chopping motions every time she said the word chop. I was so taken back, all I could think of to say was, fortunately, sweetheart, I don't remember the head chopping. Her response was, well, it happened, and I remember it very well. A few years ago, I was back in my hometown for a friend's funeral. He had fallen asleep at the wheel and hit a tree. For some reason or another, as we neared the tree, my daughter sat up right and screamed, No, no, you're going to hit him. There was no one on the road or in eyesight. I got chills when I told my sister this. When my youngest daughter was three, I went into her room at bedtime to tuck her in. I walked up to her bed and noticed the floor was wet. I asked her why the floor was wet, and she told me I was spitting at the fog people to make them go away. She did this numerous of times, scared the shit out of me. When my son was about four or five, we were in the bathroom before his bedtime. He was brushing his teeth, and he dropped his toothbrush. I picked it up for him, and when my eyes met his, he just stared at me and said, Dad, why does that man have a knife? And pointed behind me. 
quickest 180 I ever fucking done. A few years ago, I was putting my friend's daughter to bed for the night. She was about three at the time, and she was fighting going to sleep. She asked me why she had to go to bed, and I said, because it is late and it's time for little girls to get a good night's rest. She then pointed at nothing across the room and said, what about that little girl? I was heading to the bathroom on the second floor of my aunt's house when I saw my cousin April on the stairs. April was four and very animated. She was busy making faces while sitting on the stairs. I asked her what she was doing. She said, copying the lady with the braid. I looked around. There was no one else but us. I asked, where is the lady April? She pointed to the beam running parallel to the stairwell. I asked April, what's the lady doing? She said, making funny faces. I smiled and started walking up the stairs again when April said something that stopped me in my tracks. Her braid was round her neck. I turned back and asked April to repeat herself. April pointed, the lady is hanging by her braid. She's making funny faces. Then April started making a face, which then I realized was someone gasping for air. My little nephew used to talk about a woman who would visit his room at night. He said she wore a red dress, that her name was Franny, and that she would sing to him, and that she floats. I watched a few kids while their parents were at a movie. I put the youngest kid four to sleep and watched TV till the parents came home. The next day, the parents called, and according to the four-year-old, I stood in the doorway and stared at him for a very long time, smiling. I was so confused. I didn't know what to say. A few years ago, I was babysitting a friend's daughter. They lived in an apartment with a big patio window. She walked up to the door leading out to the patio and stared motionless into the night for several minutes. Shortly after, she ran into my arms saying, scary, too scary. She wouldn't let me put her down and demanded that I hold her and rock her for the next half hour. Eventually, she started repeating over and over, the dark coming inside, the dark coming inside. I was cuddling with my friend's three-year-old son, and he said, very seriously, I promise I won't chew on your bones. I promise. I once babysat a girl named Sarah, who used to love when I babysat. I know this because her mom used to tell me she always requested me over the others, but Sarah took it a step further one evening and said, when you die, I want to put you in a glass jar so I can keep you and see you forever. Looking after my little cousin in Montana one night, and he started telling me about the creeper man who lives in his mom and dad's bedroom. He brings it up after he visits them. I made the mistake once of asking him what he looks like. He said, oh, he doesn't have a face. One night, I was babysitting my friend's children. The youngest, about five years old, drew a picture of a woman hanging from the ceiling, looking up at me, and said, she told me to draw this. She's coming for you. Hide. My daughter had an imaginary friend named Sally. She told me once about how Sally was in jail for chopping her mother's head off. There are three kids buried in our backyard. They told me where we can find them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Click the subscribe annotation on the screen to subscribe to my channel. The links to my Twitter and Instagram will be in the description below, as well as the link or links to the stories. And remember, there is no such thing as a beautiful nightmare.